So then we are back with a more understanding from the time of the second tabernacle services as we find in the Aramaic English translation of the word. This translation comes from the original manuscripts of the prophets of the Tzaelic lineage. So then we can understand the time of the end as per Yeshiahu the prophet. We find a layer of understanding of the spring feast, autumn feast, and also the returning of the cities of the Messiah later ways for many centuries, precisely then Yeshiahu the 61st chapter and chapter 1-8, precisely stating those areas that we must be aware of. So then we find ourselves studying the instructions. Let's understand then what went on with the wife of Lot. As we understand there is a new pope. There was a new pope from Germany and then another pope from Argentina. Understandable. However, the Vatican is broke. They are broken because they are scoundrels. Let's understand the thieves and scoundrels that these people are. They represent God, so as they say. Yet they steal. So then, let's try to understand the deal with the Pope. Understandably, the second Pope is very humble, as we may say, comparing with the others. As we understand, he's also trying then to get some of the areas of their own religion cleaned up. Besides the scandals of Australia, where then these people from this scoundrelized system is having sex with children and molestation of many kinds, yet there is some sort of a cleaning up of the system. Yet Brazil, unfortunately because we got nothing to do with this junky system, yet because of some sort of glimpse of faith and some sort of a savior, Yet, they don't understand that the Messiah must never leave the Holy of Holies. They have some sort of a notion that there is a Savior. We can grant this much. However, they must know the truth. Let's try to understand then what goes on. Because some time ago the Pope came to Brazil. The reason why it's because he was searching for money. The Vatican was broken. A lot of those people, they were stealing the money. And there was no person then watching those people. He came to Brazil because Brazil is very weak. They believe in many kinds of junky spirits, in some sort of a saints of many kind, and then they get in the situation and they give their money. There was in the telegraph, prior of the Pope's coming, he wanted 30 million pounds. So then, Let's understand there is no junky faith in this sort of existence of their own beliefs. No, it's money and it's negotiations and then more money and more money and more stealing and more money. Let's try to understand then what went on. You find then when you read the Holy Instructions, you obviously have to get a copy from the Tzaelic lineage and get rid of your Greco-Roman because it's a piece of junk. If you try then to straighten out the piece of junk, it's only a waste of time. It's not even worth the place in the lavatory for you know what. Not to read, obviously. But then we find ourselves studying what does it mean then the wife of Lot. When you read then the regular instruction that came from the Greco and the Romans, unreliable. What did they translate? Ah, then the wife of Lot became a column of salt. Is the creator some sort of stupid being up there? Is he? No, he's not. Is he going to be mystical because his wife then went out of the city, she then observed the back, and then she became a column of salt? What does it mean a column of salt? Have you studied how the Roman legions used to be paid then in Africa? But that's the point. People don't study. People believe they're junk. People read a junk instruction and they are oh, because the wife of Lot then became a column of salt. Where do you find a column of salt? In northern Africa to this day you find areas where they make then columns of salt. That's how then the Roman legions used to get paid taxes from.
when they began to translate the holy instructions from the Hebrews, they did not understand how then the wife of Lot became salt. How could she become salt? The answer is then in 45 when the Americans released the first atomic bomb on Japan, you understand after the blast. Try to understand after the blast. What went on? Technicians went over there and they found then tiny mountains of salt, salt minerals. Where did you get these from? What does it take place when an atomic bomb then explodes? Temperature. The body was absolutely 100% burnt and what then was left were then the salt minerals. It was a memorial of salt. Memorial means there was a huge event and later became simply a pile of salt. But then the ignorant, they read all because it became a column of salt. Column of salt was the most popular understanding of the Roman legions receiving taxes via columns of salt. They did not understand what it meant. They used what they used to be then around with. There was no column of salt. It was the shower of sulfur that came upon the cities of the plain and they were burned so completely only the mineral salts were then as memorials. Simple, if you don't understand it then, simply were retarded. You have to understand what caused an atomic blast. You have to understand then when you have a very high percentage of sulfur. It's pure, nearly pure sulfur. If you light a match on it, it becomes a blue flame, and this flame then simply melts then iron. You have to understand a bit of chemistry. You can go around with a false humility, talking junk and mesmerizing and lying to the rest of the world. You have to learn. So there is no column of salt. Those were memorials because of the shower of sulfur after. After the event, they became a column of salt. What went on with the wife of Lot? She simply was in the city. She was from there. If you read the holy instructions, Lot went to the city and she found her there. She was already a scoundrel from the start. Though then, Lot had some sort of understanding of the divine, but he got mixed up in that rot of a city. Then he did receive understandings from heaven, as far as, as angels coming, walking in a city that is so dirty. No, Lot had a dream. Try to understand, angels of heaven, they don't walk in, in a rot of a city. He had an understanding in the spirit while resting, so as the other prophets. Daniel, for instance, he was used to then going to the river, and he was taking a nap by the river. Then he would receive understandings in the spirit. Then he did understand via his dream that then a situation very important would take place. So he did. He warned his people, but she didn't believe. She went as far as outside of the city, she went back because she thought Lot was crazy. He was explaining his dream. That's why she returned. And she was burned with the rest of the people. Do you think if an angel or then a set of angels would come around, she would not go out of the city? Oh, she would have run out of there real fast. But the problem is, they were not there. Only Lot himself had a dream and a spiritual understanding of judgment from heaven. And he explained and explained and explained and explained and explained and explained and explained. She didn't believe him. 
She went out as far as the outskirts of the city and he was gone and she went back. She was from there. She was a scoundrel. And she was burned with arrest. Thus became her then after the event then a memorial of salt. There is no column of salt. And there are other areas also, such as then Cornelius. Where do you find then a centurion, the Roman centurion Cornelius, receiving then understandings and visions from heaven? Boy, he was something else. When they began to translate the holy instructions, the holy Megillas, then they introduced their own junk. How do you find a centurion, a people of the army, scoundrels as they are, they are dirty, and they're receiving understandings from heaven. Interesting. My understanding was those who were obedient in the holy city would receive visions. Those outside of the holy cities would receive dreams and they must be interpreted. That's the distinction of dreams and visions. For some people, ah, those are the same. Those are not the same. Dreams are dreams outside of the holy cities. In the cities you have visions. Those are the holy Hebrews. There is no mixing. So then, Cornelius had a vision. For some reason he was on the top of the house where they used to pray back then and he received the visions. No, he did not receive any visions. He used to mix himself with the Hebrews while they were praying. He was very then desiring to study then the culture of the Hebrews as Ruach HaKodesh was amongst them. He wanted to become part of them. But he was not from the covenant. He was a Gentile. As the Hebrews came around to pray, then because he was giving alms. What does it mean giving alms? He was giving then clothing to the unfortunate people. He was giving then provisions. He was giving shoes, clothing, and so on and so forth. Then he would afterwards mix himself then with the Hebrews as they were praying. He did not pray himself. And then because he was doing this very often, then came a word from heaven. He was noted. Then he was given instructions. Go over there to Joppa and visit with Shimon. He's going to instruct you more. But then the Romans decided to turn it around. Then the Romans were the most important. And then the Hebrews were then placed in the lower level. Where do you find this Greco and Roman translation? It's a piece of junk. Cornelius did not have any visions, any dreams of any kind. He was simply noted as a person giving alms to those who were unfortunate. That's it. Later on there are indications that he was baptized and then later on we do not even hear of him anymore. So do you begin to understand then how the Greco and the Romans begin to change the entire understanding of the instructions? And then for some reason you find Italy is broken. Finances of Italy is junk. So is the Greco country is absolutely broken and busted. Lots of priests over there of the Catholics are having sex with children. Scoundrels and thieves they are stealing nearly Vatican is broken, bankrupt. Now you are going to read their own junk? If you do, you are stupid. That is plain and simple and straight on their face. You are stupid. They want your money. So then, there is no column of salt. It was invented because of the Romans. And Cornelius, a Roman centurion, he did not have any visions. How can you have a vision of a person that is a non-Hebrew and then outside of the holy city? In a period of time that it was then transitioning themselves from the first tabernacle service and the second tabernacle services. They were in the midst of it. How can a person from the army, pagan, receiving visions from heaven? You have to be joking. Boy, stay tuned, much more coming up.